I'm an operations superintendent with transportation with the city of Saskatoon and my staff do all the road markings in the summertime. We manufacture and install and repair signs around the city and we look after the majority of road closures. With road traffic, hazards are people driving their vehicles. So we've got distracted drivers, drunk drivers. So the hazard itself is not controllable. The main priority for us, especially on freeways, was to get our staff off of the roads. It's important for us always to consider what our, our team are doing out in the field and if there's something we can improve to give them a better, a better safe life and a better working day, then that's what we should be focusing on. So while looking at different safety equipment, um, on the internet I came across a uh, design in the UK where they had a van chassis specifically designed with a low ride height. They had their crew dropping cones from the side of the vehicle. The light bulb for me went on at that point and I said, well, if they can do this in Europe with their strict road safety standards, why can't we do that in Canada? So I reached out to a local police officer, asked what the traffic laws were around us riding in the back of a vehicle while working. I didn't have any issues there, so then I started to look at the regulations. In British Columbia, they have a regulation that allows us to place our hand outside of a vehicle while performing work riding in the back of a truck, whereas Saskatchewan regulations didn't allow for that. I contacted my safety superintendent and asked what are the chances of us being able to challenge the regulations and getting an exemption for our staff. Initially when I got to uh, working with John and the sign shop crews, uh, we go through a formal risk assessment based on uh, high risk work. Initially we, we review those tasks uh, every year. The one that was a high priority and high concern was uh, detour setting on high, uh, high traffic roads. Detours happen on, on the sign shop on, the, on a daily basis. They, they could probably do 15, 20 uh, detour sets per day. The biggest challenge was just, you know, getting that approval from the, from the government to proceed from that concept, the technical and, and build it. So the unit hadn't even been built yet. And we were, we were applying for uh, an exemption, which was a very unique piece to this as well. We took the concept plan of the workers and the health and safety manager, uh, look at the budget, see where it can fit in. Once I got approval, I just kind of stepped back and you know, let it happen. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have a lot of really good employees uh, involved with it. Not just my managers, but all of the workers that have to use this truck were involved in the, in the making of it. We picked the van chassis and the reason we picked the model that we did is because it gives us a longer wheelbase, which when we're out in the field, it means we can carry more material. It gives us more options to help keep everything organized. All of the stuff that's inside that vehicle, the staff were the ones that came up with those ideas. It's their job to use this vehicle, so it's important for it to work for them. Our first step is to get that pilot truck in place. The way the drivers behave around those pilot trucks is night and day different. They move over right away, they slow down right away. Once they're in there and the boards are raised, the traffic's already starting to slow down and switching lanes to depending on which one we're closing. After that, our crash attenuator and our multi-purpose vehicle will come in. The MPV will start setting up the advanced signage. They will then put in the, the taper and the arrow trailer, and then they'll start to actually make the work zone. Once, they, once they've got the cones in, the MPV will drive into the work zone to start getting ready for the cones, and the, the crash attenuator and the pilot truck will move along at their distance and ensure that everybody still stays intact until the detour and that lane is completely closed and we, we can leave the site. We've gone from like a 20 minute closure to a 10 minute closure, so it's, it's cut it in half. If I go out and do a crew visit and I watch these things in place, it still amazes me how much different it is compared to how it used to be. The majority of feedback I get from the staff is how much more confident they are while they're setting the work zones, uh, how much more visible they are. It's bright and it stands out. One of the comments I got a few days ago was, I can't believe how much different our job role is now from three years ago when we used to run along on the pavement with no protection at all. Our near miss reporting is down dramatically, right? Because we're not having those, those close calls anymore. We have removed ourselves essentially from that, uh, away from the hazard. All of these pieces we've put in place just to protect our, our crews, right? That's, that's the ultimate goal at the end of the day is, is having everybody go home.